Hello and welcome. My name is Mark Sengupta, Director of Research at the ARC Advisory Group, and I wanted to take a moment and level set some of the terminology being thrown around during this period of hype and desire to be hip. Accuracy in communication is one of the most critical communication skills. It sounds so obvious and simple, yet this essential aspect of communication is often overlooked. The impact can be massive, for better or for worse. This applies to both verbal and written communications. Accuracy in communication puts you and your listeners on the same page. Your message is clearly and accurately delivered. It is clearly and accurately received. The possibility of misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and even poor decisions is radically reduced. Consistent communications also make future conversations easier because the definitions are concrete, the discussions about misunderstandings and ambiguities are avoided, and trust is built. Many people have begun to conflate terminology either out of ignorance or for their own benefit, which creates confusion because suddenly we're talking about different things by calling them the same. Let's consider a couple of puns. The first pun is, how can you tell the difference between a chemist and a plumber? Ask them to pronounce U-N-I-O-N-I-Z-E-D. The plumber will read that and say it as, or pronounce it unionized, while the chemist might read it unionized. It's the same word with two vastly different meanings based on the person's frame of reference. Second, the second pun is, there are two goldfish in a tank. When one asks, tell me again, how do you drive this thing? With the goldfish being the subject, it is natural to assume that the tank is the fish tank until the conversation where the fish asks, how do you drive it? Many have begun labeling digitalization as digital transformation to appease management to get a project approved or to make a sale. In this discussion, I hope to clarify the terminology and attempt to bring some baseline for discussions. Let's start with the term digitization. Digitization refers to creating a digital representation of physical objects or attributes. For instance, we can scan a paper document and save it as a digital document, that is a PDF. In other words, Digitization is about converting something non-digital into a digital representation or artifact. Computerized systems can then use it for various use cases. An example for manufacturing would be when a, manuf when a measurement is converted from a manual or mechanical reading to an electronic one. Digitization is foundational. This is the connection between the physical world and, the, and software. This is what we've been doing since the 60s. It is an enabler for all processes that provide business value because of the need for consumable data. Digitalization, these are gonna be a bun bunch of tongue twisters, refer to enabling or improving processes by leveraging digital technologies or digitized data. Therefore, digitalization presumes digitization. Examples of this could be as simple as PLC logic or PID control in a microprocessor-based system, sequence logic for a, a batch process, automate, automated shutdown logic, etc. It could also be something more complex like an error in a transmitter generating a work order in the ERP maintenance system and sending that to the maintenance tech. Digitalization increases productivity and efficiency while reducing costs. Digitalization improves an existing business process or processes, but does not change or transform them. That is to say, it takes a process from a human-driven event or series of events to a software-driven event or series of events. Digital transformation is really business transformation enabled by digitalization. The digital is a bit of a misnomer, uh, but uh, simply because the uh, 
The essence of digital transformation is the changing of business processes enabled or forced by digitalization technologies. Uh, one example of this is the convergence of IT and OT, where the intersection and overlap of IT skills within the OT domain has created the need for more uniform go governance due to cybersecurity concerns, data flow requirements, and skill sets. Another example of digital transformation is a shift from local control of physical processes to remote monitoring and control of those same processes. Uh, a more ambitious example would be the integration of your customer sales volumes. So basically what your customer is selling, feeding through to your company's raw material vendors to, to create a better if, or more efficient supply chain over the entire uh, set of companies. So you might have heard of Industry 4.0. So what is that, right? So you can kind of think of Industry 4.0 as the European combination of digital transformation and digitalization, um, which kind of leads to its own confusion, I guess. I would like to take a moment and share with you that there is a user community focused on topics similar to this. Please take this opportunity to check out and join this community called the Digital Transformation Council. This is a collaborative group of end user professionals who meet to exchange ideas and learn how digital transformation affects their companies, how to affect change within their companies, learn about failings and successes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It is free to join. It is open to anyone in your organization. The website is www.arcweb.com forward slash digital dash transformation dash council. Let's end with a short recap. Accuracy in communication is one of the most critical communication skills. Digitization refers to creating a digital representation of physical objects or attributes. Digitalization refers to enabling or improving processes by leveraging digital technologies and digitized data. Digital transformation is really business transformation enabled by digitalization. And Industry 4.0 is really European for the combination of digital transformation and digitalization. It helps in, uh, in communication to understand your audience's frame of reference. If their definitions are different, you'll need to translate your ideas for them. Hopefully you found this short vid video uh, explanation helpful. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more informative materials and check out the ARC Advisory Group website for a comprehensive list of products and services we provide, which helps clients like you understand automation trends and solidify winning strategies for moving forward.